Hello everyone, today we're going to install Windows 7 on Windows 10. So let's begin. Double click on VirtualBox. Then click on New. The type, we're going to leave it as Win uh, Microsoft Windows version, as it is Windows 7 64 bit version. Um, the location, I'm going to switch it. I'm going to go to my data drive. And select folder and I'm gonna call it Windows Oof, excuse me Windows if I can type Windows 7 click next um, that actually is fine that's two gigs I'm gonna leave it as default click next leave it as it is 32 gig recommend the size for the hard drive click create uh, VDI click next Dynamic allocation selected. Click next. I'm gonna leave everything by default. 32 32 gigabytes. Uh, create. Perfect. Click on start. Give it a moment. Let's see when when it loads. Da, 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 da. Okay. Click on browse. Then add. Windows 7 open then I choose and then start now give that a moment and it should load up the operating system let me, let me just close this here okay leave everything rather far we're gonna leave everything in English we're gonna click next Click install. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. Click agree with the license term. Click next. We are not doing an upgrade, but we are doing a custom. Click on custom. Everything looking good. Click next. And now I might far I'm going to fast forward this section here. Okay, so let's type in the username. All right, so I'm going to just type in Ray and then type a computer name. So Ray dash PC, that's fine. You can change this part here if you want to, but I'm going to leave it as, as default. Click next. Password. Mind you, uh, in my other video, I typed in ABC123. Wait, excuse me. Um, one. One two three, A B C one two three. Now password him, please. Don't type in your actual password in here. It's not good. It's not proper security thing. I'm just putting it as a demonstration, just to run run through the uh, installation. Okay. Click on next. Did I type everything right? One two three. Cool. Click on next. Uh, use the recommended settings right it's up to you you can change anything whichever one you want I'll usually go for the recommended settings uh, click on this uh, I'm gonna put my uh, my time zone Eastern time uh, everything looking good click next uh, we're gonna put this on a home network and now to be applying the settings give it a moment And this is how you install Windows 7. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Peace out.